Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and as I said this is the last tutorial about topography and today we will create the road. Yes, main question how to create road in Revit. As you see here in my project which you can download from the my store, uh, I did it by the floor. But actually we have the uh, few ways to create the roads uh, by topography in Revit. So I will show you two of these ways right now. Okay, let's switch back to the, the project. Uh, I used this project in previous video, you can check it. You should check it actually, because uh, maybe you not will understand what's going on now. And the first way to create a road, I will uh, do it right here. We will use Dynamo for that. But before we will do, we should use the some tools. So let's go to the um, Messing Inside and we will use the sub region. And let's create some simple uh, road, maybe something like that. I will use offset, maybe 10 meter, 10 meter offset for that side. And let's let's do something like that. One here, one here. You can use uh, spline, you can use the other lines, whatever you want. I just showing you the way how you can create it. I will use the trim. Sorry, I should switch my language uh, and I will copy it. You should copy it, copy it and finish. So we get the sub region. After that, let's go to the uh, floor. Choose any floor type what you want and let's paste it, align the level and for example, level two, why not? And let's say, okay, now we are in 3D and we can check it. What's going on? As you see, we get uh, our floor, we get uh, our subregion and our topography. So let's go back to the, I mean, not go back, let's open the Dynamo. We will open Dynamo now. And we will create the some simple script. Just a few seconds. And I already did it. Actually, it's pretty easy. Here only three nodes. So, but I will create for, for you, it's like uh, from zero again. So let's, we need the select, just write select, select model element. This is here. We need two of them. After that, we need topography point. We can actually use this one. Topography points. Where's the my mouse? Oh, oh, this is here. Okay, nice. And we need connect the first one to this one. Don't forget, we should uh, uh, we should change from automatic to the manual. And the uh, last thing, what you need, uh, we need go to the package, search the package, and clock clock clockwork aha uh -huh, it's here so uh, I already have the clockwork as you see you need download it just uh, choose your your reversion and say like install that's all that's all that's it that's it nothing else so after that when you will install it you will able to um, to use these nodes you will find it here. Let's go with the clockwork here. And we need the floor slab by points, this one. And let's put it here. We can del delete this one. I will show you like it, how it's working. So we need connect points to point and floor element to floor. So what, what we gonna do? We need select our floor, I mean our subregion. Let's select our subregion. After that, our subregion will send to here the points of the height of this site, and the points will send it to the floor slab. Here, the our um, model, actually this is will be our floor, will apply these points. So. 
what will what we will get after that so let's run it and as you see as you see finally we get a shape of our of our road so we can close it now we don't need them anymore and you can actually select your uh, floor and we can change it for example by 100 it's not enough we can do it like 200 why not and we can get uh, the our road like this so this is first way how you can get the road correct road i mean by um, by your topography but actually we have the other way so this is way number two and i should say this is much easiest than we did before for the second way you should download the site designer you can get it from the uh, official uh, revit store app store <laughs> sorry yeah after desk store and uh, it's totally free but the thing if you're using the uh, revit 2017 and high you should go to the this link and follow the instruction how to update your designer extension so who don't who already did it you will get the uh, site designer here and you will able to create the street street is means the road so let's create it i will select the street and this one thing uh, before i will uh, create the street i should this choose the surface where is my street will be so set base top of surface this is one 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 this is that one surface I will say OK, just double click, and after that uh, he will create the new one. I'm OK with that, and now we will go to the street. There you hear this so simple uh, settings. I think you understand what 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 is mean uh, everything what is mean. So simple street it means like uh, which family we will use uh, as our street. You can choose, you can create. The here the type of the street and here the street name. Uh, elevation our street and main thing here the draw host line so it means um, row our road will follow this line and radius of this line let's make like 2000 and let's say okay oh it's not working why not let's say zero it's okay and uh, let's make it for example here like one I think it's enough to apply uh, your changes, just uh, type escape. Few second, as you see, road is already drawing, and our topography now it's uh, following our road. Let's look the more close to this road. As you see, it's really correct. But the main thing you can change it. It's not just static object. You can change it. You can go to the street here, as you see modify. We will use the we will choose the our road. Oh, we should choose not our road, our line. I'm sorry. So here is our line, as you see. Let's choose it. Oh, let's change the to the one one hundred street again. The line maybe on this side. Let's find this line. I think I will go like this. Let's choose this line. After that, I'll change the elevation, change elevation, and let's go to C. Here the our millimeters, and here our slope in the degree. So you can, I mean, the in the angle, you can choose whatever you want. I will choose, for example, this point, and I will change the millimeters. Let's say we want 10 meters, because we want to see the changes, right? So 10 meters, and okay. So how to apply your settings? First, we will go to 3D because I want to show you uh, the result. And after that, just right click, cancel, apply. Few seconds. Now Revit will applying changes. And ta-ta, here our road and here the slope. Why not? It can be like this. So guys, as you see, you can change your road simply and you don't need to uh, make some uh, complicated things you can use this tool and be happy
that's it from today i think this is, was helpful for you i hope for that if you did uh, you go the and leave some comment uh share like whatever and don't forget guys you can support me on my patreon company or you can go to the gum store and buy there something for those who still watching me now i mean in this moment you also can go to the uh, link below this video and download some models i mean the people cars and trees for free and that's it from today thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe my social media leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time